Welcome back to another episode of We Rogue Like It. I'm your host, Boston. Joining me as always is Moonpeer. Hello. And we're recording this a little off schedule, so uh, Monkey Senior disappeared. <laughs> yes. I can't blame um, him. Not our normal day. Stuff yeah. happens. Um, what happened was he actually found this little portal and he's been turned into a dice right <laughs> yes right so for, we've got to wait and see if he can spin the wheel and get a star or if he gets a skull his one wish was to get off of this show <laughs> yes exactly wait get off this show or get off that show oh, get off this show like i'll i'll oh, win the dungeon as long as i can get off we rogue like it <laughs> yeah that's true yeah uh i was on vacation so i played zero of this how had you do <laughs> <laughs> i just like the thing was like i could have brought my laptop like bringing a laptop through airport security is one of the levels of hell so like mm, even the sixth circle yes yeah like even getting through there with like a phone a wallet and a cpap machine was too much so i was like mm. i'm not gonna no more electronics if you want some real fun Try taking a vaping rig through oh, airport security. <laughs> they, they take you down for a randomly selected pat down. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, the the man who has the big bushy beard and looks homeless when he flies. Right. Yes. <laughs> a randomly selected. Yes. You know. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Liquids, folks. Always yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, yes, I actually played a fair bit of Dicey Dungeons this week. Oh, thank goodness. Um, I... Did a couple of witch runs. Okay. I failed horribly at the witch. What do you think of her? Because I don't. You hadn't unlocked her last week. I, she's interesting. Yeah. But I don't know if I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's like it's complicated. Yes, I think her her whole setup of spend a dice to put these spells on your spell book, mm-hmm. and then use those spells to generally speaking like monkey said you can't break it and just get the recursive spell thing going on yeah just getting the same thing but that's kind of a lucky draw and if you if you don't have at least one healing thing which i've noticed i'm struggling with people who don't have heals yes like that's my biggest flaw right now is if i don't have something to heal me i'm generally speaking usually screwed yeah because there's no real way for you to directly interrupt the enemy's attacks like you can set the dice on fire you can blind them you can shock them you can do that stuff but they can still feed enough dice into their board to unlock stuff and attack you so it's not like it i'm also having that problem yeah it's not exactly a a nice it's it's a roll of the dice whether or not you (laughs) get the health back that you need or not right because it's one of those things i'll face a couple of enemies and i'll have that apple or whatever on the map and i'm like give me that apple give me the health i need it and then the next enemy i face will take me out in like four hits and it's like yeah great did you did you get uh bitten by that on the halloween event I did not. I didn't play the Halloween event at all. Okay, so on the Halloween event, which uh, we talked about that, I think it was last week, um, mm-hmm. there's now a section in the game, they patched it once the event is over, I think it's like a cheats section, and you can turn the Halloween event back on at any time, which is really nice. Okay. Um, the apples were re- replaced with pumpkins, and I wasn't paying attention And I went to go grab a pumpkin to fill my health because I had like two health left. Mm -hmm. It was an enemy pumpkin and it destroyed me. I was like, (laughs) that's that's on me because I didn't pay attention, but also go to hell. (laughs) That's that's on you more than you'd care to admit, really. A hundred percent. But also screw the game. I can go easy. (laughs) Yeah. All right. So you played a bunch as the witch and it's she's there's a lot going on. Yes. There is a lot going on, and like it's enjoyable, but it's also super complicated and way more thinking than I'm I'm wanting to do. Yeah, like we talked about the comparisons between like this and Hearthstone. Like this is a thinking man's roguelike. Right. It's like think about what you've been dealt and maximize your damage output with that. Yeah. One of the big things that I, when I played Hearthstone on a regular basis, a friend of mine would always berate me because 
I, w- I had what's known in Hearthstone terms as having lethal, which is with the cards you have and what you have on the board, you can kill the opponent and win this round. Oh, okay. I would have lethal. And then I wouldn't see it. And then uh... I would make a mistake and give them a round to recover whatever they could in that meantime. Gotcha. And this game is very much the same where those certain enemies where I've gone against them and I have lethal. I know I can kill them. <laughs> right. I just can't get the numbers to to merge in the right right like your order of operations exactly yeah so it's one of those things where with her it's like i'm always i could maximize it so much better if i just stopped take a beat do the math what you're doing (laughs) right and then do it right don't just go ooh dice Uh, that's why i like playing the robot i'm gonna keep hitting the button (laughs) (laughs) exactly just give me that jackpot every single time that's right give me the dopamine (laughs) but that's actually something that i played the thief as well Mm. and i because i unlocked the witch and i've got all the base characters now yeah so i'm going through and trying to do the episodic stuff I got halfway through the night's second episode, had to quit the game, came back, and got a fatal error every time I tried to load that (laughs) save. Okay. Small team, indie game. Mm -hmm. It happens. It's like, oops, you got a crash. Check out this folder for the crash log. Whoopsie (laughs) doodle. And then I'd click on OK, and it wouldn't do nothing. So I'd have to alt F4 out of the game and then continue on in my poor, poor poor new games <laughs> but i i did end up playing as the thief um and ended up jumping on did a whole run through as the thief and pretty much got got a lot more understanding of him oh, okay to the point where i watch color um i went with a poison build with him Ooh, okay because the thief has got like he's got repetitive damage with number three die like you can hit over and over and over again with his dagger as many times as you want as long as it's below three so with him i ended up with a poison build out where i was just like anytime i'd have three or below i'd throw it into his normal attack Mm -hmm. and then i had the recursive poison one which he could use five times a turn Wow. And then I'd just be splitting dice. Like, I'm <laughs> going to split this dice and split that dice and split this and then right. duplicate that one. So I was just throwing tons of poison damage at people. Oh, wow. And then wow. stabbing them a lot with Mr. McStabby face. You're just throwing, like, 20 dice at, in a turn. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And I pretty much cruised through his setup as soon as I had a healing spell for him. There was a couple of close calls. But then I ended up with a healing build for him and... It ended up working really, really well Mm. for being able to just jump in, put as many dice as I could into the healing one, then save it for when I needed it, do stabby, stabby, poison, poison, and then when he starts to get me to low health, one more dice into the healing one, I'm healed. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, you had a good workflow going there. So yeah, the, the thief worked out pretty nicely, and then I tried other ones and failed. I'm really struggling with a couple of these. Like, I, not the witch, but the one before the witch. The inventor? Yes. Really struggling with that one. I, like, that is, that's, I just, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. It's inventor. a cool idea. I just, I feel like I don't get it yet. Yes. 100%. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much all I did. Okay. Well, I I really wanted to play Dicey Dungeons. I it's one of those things where it's like, man, I wish I had this on my phone or I wish I had some way to play this where I was here, but alas, it's it's not on anything except for PC yet, which is fine. Um but mm-hmm. it it seems like it lends itself to to being a touch game pretty well. Yeah, I could see it transitioning smoothly into a controller base. Yeah, I think so too. Like, with a little bit of UI, that could work pretty nicely on pretty much everything. And yeah. give it to phones. Like, just get it on phones. Yeah. Get it on Switch. Have people playing it. Yeah, Switch is a good call as well. Yeah. Switch, you could use the touch screen, too. To Hire touch us touch as screen. consultants. <laughs> yes. Um, put your game out on Switch. $10,000, please. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. 10000 each, right? Mm. Yeah. 15 we'll split it down the middle there you go i'll take it 
uh that's all right friends and family prices yeah that that's our price everyone 7500 bucks <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank I you do a lot for 7500 bucks dude. yeah you we don't have time or the explicit tag for me to tell you what we'll do <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you very much everyone for listening we'll see you all next run bye bye <laughs>